This is a gross abuse of power. But this is not a surprise to any of us, especially on the Republican side, as we've seen the Democrats completely politicized just about every institution. We can no longer have moral authority against the dictators and despots who would always find it easier to jail their political rivals than to compete against them in free and fair elections. This is about power. It is a demonstration of raw power. They're sending a message, and the message is they will use any power that they have to interfere in the next presidential election. Lawmakers reacting after a Manhattan grand jury indicts former President Donald Trump. Sources say he could surrender as early as Tuesday. Joe Pinion, your reaction to what seems to be a very politically motivated case, because we've already talked about the merits of the legal case, which do not seem very strong. Well, look, the proof is in that tweet from Nancy Pelosi uh, saying that Donald Trump has the opportunity to prove his innocence. Uh, in America, you are innocent until proven guilty. And no man is above the law, but certainly no American should be subject to being placed beneath the law. And I think time and time again, from the time that Congressman Green called for the impeachment of Donald J. Trump before he ever took the oath of office, uh, when we had a member of the FBI falsify evidence to procure a FISA warrant, uh, to have the investigation of President J., uh, Donald J. Trump, all of these things show a political party that is content to effectively say that Donald Trump has been a crime boss who has latched on a criminal syndicate uh, to the White House without ever having to prove it anywhere in a court of law. They're content to have that in the case of public opinion, and I think public opinion is swiftly going Especially from a local DA, to be clear here, um, who is d dealing with his own popularity problems in the city that he is running. Uh, and former President Trump is raising money. We should, should be here off, off this indictment. His fundraising arm has been sending out multiple emails. Those emails, actually, Chris, coming right after the indictment broke, broke the news broke last night. His 2024 primary opponent, which we think will be Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, even he's defending President Trump, Chris. Oh, across the board. Vivek, uh, everyone who's involved is coming out. Even Tim Scott, I think, is going to uh, uh, make an announcement a little bit later on today in regards to Donald Trump. Um, I, I do think there's a little bit of 3D chess going on here by the Democrats. I, I really do. Um, I, I believe that um, I think that they're trying to push Donald Trump. I think they know that this is going to obviously help him in regards to his support, because I think that's who they want to be the candidate, quite frankly. And I think that this is going to elevate his support in you're, the polls. You're, you're going to make him a martyr. And, and I want to read in part what I, because this DeSantis, DeSantis' tweet, I think, was so interesting, the weaponization of the legal system yeah. to advance a political agenda turns the rule of law on its head. Florida will not assist yeah. in an extradition request. I thought that was very interesting. Well, I think also, I mean, to that point, anybody who knows anything knows that in the event that this does not get tossed as summary judgment, there is no way this case will be resolved before the end of this presidential cycle. And so what Democrats want, they appear they might actually be able to procure, which is to be running against a Republican nominee for president who is under indictment. And they're going to try to lasso that, not just around President Trump, but every single Republican up and down the, uh, the ballot. And I think, again, the sad, sad part of this is that when you look at people trying to have faith in our institutions at a time when we are more divided than ever before, when we should be here talking about the fact that the continued antagonization of this war between Russia and Ukraine is happening by the admission by Turkey of Finland to NATO. No, we're not talking about that. We're talking about a rogue DA with a political agenda that seeks to do the dirty wet work of a Democratic Party that's completely unhinged and untethered from reality. Yeah, this is, that the way we want? is that what the Democrats want? They'd rather focus on nonsense rather than the issues. There's important issues. You're spot on, Joe. They want everybody focusing on all this, this sideshow rather than than the things that are really important to the country right now. And look, your shoelace is untied. Meanwhile, we've taken one more step further to a war of unimaginable consequences. Right, right. We're going to be covering this story all morning long. There's a lot of implications, obviously, 